Okay guys, welcome back. So in this short video, I'm going to walk us through how to get our edited sound that we created from our computer onto a regular old USB flash drive into the Yamaha DTX itself. So if you remember from a previous video, I had mentioned that using 16-bit WAV files is the best way to go uh, whenever you're trying to create your own custom samples and import them into the DTX. I found out the other day that you actually can use AIFF files as well, but to be perfectly honest, just to keep everything as streamlined as possible, I recommend that you just stick with 16-bit WAV. That has worked well for me, and it's pretty. It's a pretty common uh, file format, so just stick with that. So once you've created your sound samples, um, or sound sample, singular or plural, um, you, can, you can fit all of them on a regular old USB flash drive. You're going to, once you have them on here, you're going to stick the USB flash drive into the side of the device like this. Of course, they never go in the right way the first time. You can turn the device on. And then it should say connecting to USB device. So the next thing you're going to do is you're actually going to upload the sample from the flash drive into the DTX. So the way you do that is uh, you don't even have to scroll up to the user kit one yet. You can just stay here. You're going to click wave. And then it's going to take you to where it says wave one. And if you're doing this for the first time, your DTX should, should automatically have empty wave on number one. Um, obviously, if you're watching this, you haven't done this before. So if you scroll up or down, there are different uh, different wave spots on here. So there's like I'm not sure how many in total are, but there's there's a bunch. So you're able to you're able to have you're able to store um, a lot of your own samples on here um, if you need to. But for now, we're just going to focus on the first one. We're just going to focus on doing one. Um, currently on this flash drive, there is only one sample. It's the horse example I used in the previous video. So we're just going to stick with the horse for right now. So I'm going to import the horse sound that I just made onto the first one. So it says empty wave from here. When I'm on the first wave, it's going to say empty wave and it's going to be flashing. Um, I'm going to click this arrow to the right until it says um, job. And then I'm going to click enter. And then it'll say import all. You can, you can keep scrolling. It'll say normalize or delete. Um, this, this is important to take note of. So if I'm importing a sound, I'm going to just import all. And it's just going to import the one wave I have. But if I have multiple waves, um, it'll, it'll import them on, on the other uh, empty ones. So if I accidentally import something that I want to delete, or if it's a show that I'm already done with, and I just want to uh, clean my DTX, which is actually what I recently did before I made this video, I had about 10 samples that were already saved on here, but because the memory on the DTX isn't super elaborate, I want to try to keep it fresh if I can so it doesn't have all this data stored on here that I don't need anymore. So you can you can click delete if you want to delete the waves, uh, individual waves that are on here. Um, I did that already, so that's why there's, uh, there's no waves saved on here yet. So I'm going to go ahead and import the single wave that's on here. Click enter, import all, are you sure? enter again so now as you can see it's it says it's loading keep the power on completed so now as you can see i'm going to zoom in so that y'all can see it says it says horse wave one on here um that way y'all can see so i've got i've got the the way the horse wave successfully installed on the dtx so in, a, in another video i'm going to show us how to assign the wave to the pad that we need, so stick around. 